There's a guy hanging around the entrance near me. He's been back and forth a couple of times. He's icy one, dark hair, dark suit. Yeah, I got him. You getting this, Joe? Most definitely. Are you ready, Steve? Just give me the word. Right, that's it. Get him, Steve. Hang on, Sarge. Just move, get him! Hey! Sit up, police! What are you doing? Right. I'm DS Hunter, son. I'm CID. I'm arresting your suspicion of blackmail. Now, wait. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. But I'm the one being blackmailed. What? Envelope. Look in the envelope. Right, all units stay where you are. Come on, man, please. Can you tell us why Lee Thomas wasn't wearing handcuffs? We didn't think he was a risk, sir. Obviously, that was a mistake on our part. Which was compounded by leaving the rear window of the area car open. He wanted to have a cigarette. Uh, one way or another, we'd spent a lot of the day with Lee. I suppose we thought we got to know him. When you say most of the day, what, what do you mean exactly? According to your notes and uh, the notes of P.C. Hemingway, you, you didn't arrest him until 1300. No, that's right, sir. Um, we had uh, encountered him earlier. Encountered? At uh, Candy Cemetery. Uh, Yvonne had gone there to lay some flowers at a friend's grave that morning. She'd dropped her purse. We'd gone back to look for it. Uh, Lee Thomas had found it and uh, returned it to her. And what was he doing at the cemetery? Stealing flowers. <laughs> From the graves? Yes. So why didn't you arrest him then? Because we didn't realise that that's what he'd been doing until he'd gone. Had he also stolen the flowers that P.C. Hemingway had left for her friend? Yes, sir. And what did P.C. Hemingway think about that? She wasn't best pleased. Well, does that mean she was angry with him? I would say that she was more upset, sir. She was still grieving for her friend. So she was determined to catch up with him? Well, we both were. Pretty low thing to do. Did P.C. Hemingway let her personal investment in the case affect her conduct at all? Well, like I say, sir, she was angry, but... But what? But I don't think that had any bearing on what happened later. Well, you can't say for certain, though, because you weren't there. No, sir, I wasn't, but... Then you're not in a position to comment. Thank you, P.C. Sam, that'll be all. I hope Superintendent Okaro is as pleased to see me as you are. Well, he's waiting, so you'll soon find out. and she used to puke up all the time. Had? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Um, can I get you a glass of water or anything? I don't really fuss. All right? I don't really fuss. Sorry. Look, look, please, just... What's her problem today? Go around snapping at everyone. Oh, I know what she's like. You don't mind to put up with it, but I don't. I'm police staff, not a police officer. Just leave it. She's got a lot on her plate at the moment, what with Honey and Yvonne and everything. Besides the superintendent, you don't see him barging people out of the way. I'm going to make a complaint to him, actually. No, don't. She's got other stuff as well. Like what? I can't say. Women's problems? Don't joke about it, JT. It's not funny. Well, is it really that bad? <sighs> Pretty bad, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not life-threatening, though, is it? Answer, is it? I didn't tell you that. She, she, 
she's going to be all right? Well, people should know she deserves our support. I think at the moment she just wants to get on with her job. It's all very well being brave and acting tough, but I don't think anyone should go through something like that on their own. Mr. West, five hundred pounds cash, four fifteen this afternoon. Let her be in the next at a bench in Luther Gardens. If it's not there, your boss finds out. If you tell the police, your boss finds out. If you do anything apart from deliver the money, your boss finds out. I think we can safely say that my boss is going to find out. Not unless we catch a blackmailer first. <laughs> do you think you can? You haven't done very well so far. Look, we've still got the drop site under surveillance. But the more information you give us, the sooner we might be able to make an arrest. You could start by telling us what you're being blackmailed over. If it was something I wanted made public, I wouldn't have been in Luther Gardens in the first place. Anything you say will be kept in the strictest confidence. Look, would you find it easier to talk if DC Sim left the room? I'm not easily shocked, Mr. West. Because of the hours I work and the people I work with, I don't get much of an opportunity to find myself girlfriends, so I hire them for the night, if you catch my drift. Prostitutes? I prefer the term escorts. I think they would, too. I make a phone call to a professional service. They send someone suitable. We meet, have dinner, and... Well, I think we can probably draw a veil over the rest of it. Uh, do you know a woman called Rebecca Bishop? Girls tend not to do authentic names. OK. So what's this got to do with your boss? It's not as if you're doing this during office hours, is it? I work for an American bank in the city. Very moral. I'm absolutely certain they wouldn't approve. Surely what you do in your private time is your own business. I'd rather not take the chance. So where do you entertain these women? Wine bars, restaurants. Why don't you take them home when you're finished? I usually check us into a hotel. The other black male victim that we're investigating also stayed at a couple of hotels in the area. Let me run them by you. The Delancey Hotel? What about the Bestborough Court Hotel? Ever stayed there? Possibly. Right, is that before or after you received the first blackmail letter? Um... I have to check my diary, but I think before. You sure there's nothing else you want to tell us? Quite sure. OK. Perhaps you could list the restaurants and hotels that you visited with the escorts before you received blackmail letters, please. Sure. How long does it take to get a battery? Guess who I've just seen? Penny Harmon. She'll be here to see a caro. Hope we doesn't give her a hard time. Mr. Atkins? All right? Yes. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my wife to collect me. How'd you get on down Luther Gardens? Well, you know, I'm not entirely sure. One of your colleagues did arrest a man, but I don't think that it was a blackmailer. Oh, here she is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Atkins, but you can't park here. That's all right. I'm not stopping. Dennis? Um, what are you doing? This is what his tart just brought round to my house. You see Rebecca? Yes, and heard what she had to say. You've lied to her almost as much as you've lied to me. Janice, I, I thought that we sorted all this out last yes, night. Yes, so did I, until I saw this, and this, and this. You said you'd never spend the night at her flat. You promised me you hadn't. You swore on your life you hadn't. Janice, well, she doesn't want you anymore, and neither do I. This is why keeping secrets gets you done. It's all in the statement I've made to the major investigation team, sir. A lot of it's in the statement, especially the events that took place on the south coast. But I'm more curious about the events in Sun Hill. Specifically, whether you were abducted by Scott Burnett or whether you chose to flee with him. I tried to stop him leaving Sun Hill, sir. I'm not sure that totally answers my question. When Scott admitted to me that he'd killed Karen, I was scared that he was going to kill me too. He wanted to go on the run and he wasn't prepared to leave without me. But did you try to resist? I thought the best thing I could do was to go with him. That way he wouldn't see me as a threat. And I thought that I might be able to leave clues for MIT along the way to track us. So when you used the cash machine and were filmed by the CCTV, that was deliberate? I knew they'd both be monitored. 
but Scott was growing suspicious, so if I tried to do anything else, I don't know how he would have reacted. So I took a huge risk putting the battery back in his phone at the beach house. There are still some people who think you have divided loyalties. I expect there are. But I'm here now and Scott's in custody.